Okay, y'all, we are going to unbox the bodega fridge. As you can see, Chloe and Cooper, my mom's dogs, are very much assisting me because they're super hard workers. Um, they're not getting paid, but they can talk to me about their grievances later. So this thing is so big, um, doesn't really fit in the frame. So let's switch it up so you guys can see how big it is. Cooper just heard that he's not getting paid for being this advertisement, so he decided to check himself out of the situation. But this is the Bodega TW35, and I'm excited about it because it's the first dual compartment car fridge that I have ever tried. But of course, it's DC and AC, so like if you are remodeling a house and you don't have a fridge yet, you can absolutely plug it into a regular Edison outlet. Let's take it out of the box. Chloe decided she's still gonna help because she feels like maybe later there's a chance she's going to get paid. And maybe. Oh boy, this is a big one. Nice. Ooh, it's like Christmas. What do you think, Chloe? Now, let me preface by saying that I have reviewed a bodega fridge before. It was around this time last year, actually, because when mom and I started remodeling this trailer here that you see in the background, oh, don't mind Winston and Chloe, um, we used that bodega fridge in the trailer because mom didn't have a full-size fridge yet. That was their smallest model. I believe it was around 15 liters. Super cute though because it had like a light blue lid and I was really pleased with it. So I am super stoked about reviewing this bigger one. This is definitely the biggest fridge that I have ever taken a look at and this is like a navy color. It kind of has that texture like a traditional igloo cooler, if you will. I do like that it has these carry handles on the side. It makes it really easy, especially because it is a slightly bulky uh, piece of furniture equipment. It's an appliance, maybe? I don't know. But I'm also noticing these cup holders on the top, which is a nice little feature. But let's take a look at it a little bit more closely. All right, so as I said, you have these nice carry handles and it looks like we have the controls here on the side and I'm assuming this sticker about the temperature controls can come off. Yes, that is true. Okay, cool. And I like the cup holders on the top. I think that's neat. And plenty of surface space here if you wanna use that. Now, another cool thing about this fridge, which I have seen in other models, my current fridge actually has it as well, is the lid can be swapped. You can swap sides. So you can just take it out and put it on the other side if you want to, which is a really nice feature. It comes in handy because not everybody's rig or living situation is the same. It has a bottle opener on the side. That's really neat. And I'm also noticing, ah, it's like a, it's a cutting board. How fun is that? Nifty. As you guys can tell, this is dual zone it's dual temperature you have a compartment here that goes far in i love the basket and you also notice it has that drain that's really helpful because you can get moisture and water buildup in the bottom of your fridge it's something i deal with all the time having that drain for cleaning is so nice these will be our cords and our manual and then you have this compartment that's a little more shallow, but also with a basket. So this I would use as like the freezer portion, that probably the fridge. You could even do like food, beer. Ah, isn't that so nice? Oh my God, I'm loving this already. It looks like there's light here. Oh, there's light on either side. My small bodega had that also. Having that light is really useful. So of course we have our manual, your regular 12 volt DC, and of course your AC. Nice and simple. 
All right, so now we're going to see how much the bodega fridge uh, draws, how much power it draws. I plugged it into my Vitomin Flash Speed portable power station because that's what I use to run my current fridge. And we need to get this turned on here. So as you can see, there is the left and the right, so you can set the temperature for each. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted everything based on the instructions that it gives me here. So now it is cooling down and I have it on eco mo mode and low, but there is low, medium, and high uh, with an eco and a max. So right now it's drawing about 50 watts, 54 watts, 49. Looks like it's jumping between about 45 and 55, which is pretty good considering we are running a 40 liter or is it 40 quarts i have to look again i think it's 40 liter refrigerator dual zone temperature so it's a fridge and freezer i figured it would actually draw a little bit more power but it's not so that's good but again it's in eco mode and it's working on cooling down All right, so we got our fridge down to temperature and it only used 3% of my power station to get it there. It is fairly warm in the room that I'm standing in right now. It's an Arizona room, so there's no air conditioning or anything and it's like 90 degrees outside. So the compressor will be running fairly consistently to draw power from my power station, but that's typically not the case. I'm typically not running my fridge in this sort of weather where it's warm in a room like this but i'm very pleased with the amount of power it's drawing and how quickly it got to temperature now to be perfectly honest with you guys i don't know if this fridge is going to fit properly in my van this is the fridge i have currently but i wanted to review this bodega because a i've never tried one with the fridge and freezer and I'm working on potentially outfitting my mom for camping and a bigger fridge would be beneficial. Plus someday I'll upgrade my van and I might need a bigger fridge. So let's see how this bodega fits right here. Well, y'all, I have to say, I'm kind of surprised. The fridge fits really well. It's like the same length as my small fridge. Of course, it's just taller and it's only about two inches wider so this works and as i was saying about this door that you can adjust it's the same as my current fridge so i can open the door this way the lid this way instead of the other way because if i open it up that way it won't stay up against my seat Ooh, y'all that is very very exciting i can't believe such a big fridge fits in my minivan so well, this is amazing. As you can see, even with my floor blanket rug down here, I still have plenty of floor space. I also want to mention that this fridge actually has Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi smartphone app. So those are two really nice features. Overall, I am tremendously pleased with this Bodega fridge. It has so many features and benefits including just extra stuff like the cutting board, the cup holders, the bottle opener on the side. Totally awesome. And the fact that it fits in my minivan and it's such a large capacity is wonderful. I will leave two links in the description, one for Amazon for all of you Amazon shoppers and one that goes directly to the Bodega website for those who prefer to shop through the brand website. But uh, with all of that being said, thank you guys so much. This is the second Bodega fridge that I've absolutely loved. So I'm going to go ahead and say that they're a pretty trustworthy brand when it comes to van refrigerators. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I will see you next time.